Let's see. I wish I wouldn't have wrecked this little guy trying to take it out because I don't know if I can replace this. Um, anyways, I'm going to see if I can measure it and uh, look at the part number for it. In the meantime, I'm just going to test it. I guess to do that, I don't have a, capac a capacitor meter on my on either of my multimeters, but I guess to check it, uh, let's see, I think the I think what you're supposed to see is the um, oops, I think what you're supposed to see with this is that the um, the resistance increases. There should be power to it. Hang on, I'm gonna turn it the other way. Like this. I don't know if that means it's working or not. I wish I would have checked this before I tried taking it out, because this would kind of tell me, if it didn't work, then I'd at least know that uh, that could be a cause. So I don't know if it's supposed to be doing that or not. I thought it was supposed to go to infinity a lot quicker. Anyways. That's tested. Um, I looked up some other videos on this and it looks like I think what I really need to do is just uh, solder all these connectors and it should work. But I noticed that when I look on the inside, I don't know if you can see that, but uh, there's also some other connectors that that end in, in the bottom plate. So I think in order to do a proper job, I need to be able to take this out. I saw one of the video where they heat it up and it seems to come off. So I'm tempted to try that because I'd hate to go, go through all the trouble solder or of, uh, you know, soldering these up and then find out it doesn't work. I've also gone ahead and ordered some, um, it's electrically, electrically conductive silvering adhesive. So I think that's going to work for me. And it, I guess it comes like in a, in a little syringe. So I should be able to put, put a little dab on each of these. So I might give that a try too. But yeah, I might try heating this up to see if it comes apart. I'm not sure yet. There, I'm back. Uh, my new TCM, the, uh, the Dorman Rebuild, has been working for the last two weeks uh, without any issues. Uh, I've done some shopping. I picked up a, a capacitance meter and also a new capacitor. So what I'm going to do is just test out this old one and see if it still works, see if I'm still getting the, uh, I guess, uh, 2200 uh, microfarads. So I've been messing around with this, trying to figure out how it works. So let's start with my, my new one. Let's see here. Like this on like that. And just like that. Okay, that's a little out of range. So we'll go so we'll go 22 times 10. So try this again. Okay. That would be uh yeah, that'd be uh 2240. Okay, now I'm going to try out my my old one. Let's see what this is. Okay, what are we reading? Okay, this is even more. This is like like 2400. Just for the grins of it, I'll try turning it around and see what it does. I think it should be the same. Twenty four hundred. Um, I think I'm just going to go ahead and put the new one in instead of putting this beat up old one. Or maybe I'll just put this one in and just be done with it, since it seems to be working now. Touch these two together, see what they do. That doesn't really do much. Yeah, it just reads. Okay, okay, that's not wreck it. I'll turn this off. Um, the other thing I bought is uh, some of this 
I've got like four packs of this. It's a, what do they call it? Silver conductive paint. This is my uh, conductive adhesive. It comes in a, a little syringe like this. I'm going to use that on all these points on here we've discussed. Um, let's see, here's the, here's the end of it. A little hypodermic needle. I'm not sure how well that's going to work. I guess I'll give it a try here and see how, how it works. Anyways, I'm not sure if I accomplished a whole lot on this other than making a bit of a mess on some of these. Um, yeah, it proved a little more difficult than I thought. Uh, I think I might use um, I might use some proper solder on these to put this in. But uh, I think I got them all. I think it's these ones here that are that are the most important because these ones would be the ones that are connected to the to the clutches. I think I got everything. Yeah, they look a little different when you look at it close with a magnifying glass. A little, you can sort of see the shape of the pins there. If I see how, I'm gonna see how close I can get on, get in with this. But yeah, there's a bit of a spot to get to get the solder stuff in, or the this. Uh, oh, I think I missed that one. Uh, that should be all right. Well, I'll see if I can get this back together, then maybe I'll put it into the car and and just um, take it for a test and see if it works. I got my soldering iron out, and I soldered up the, um, the joints for my capacitor. I don't know if you can see that, but it's getting kind of blurry. Anyways... Um, Yes, okay, here's the other side. Not really the best, but I think I got some of it in there. A little bit out of practice on that. Uh, so anyways, I'm going to put the... See if I can get this, this piece on. Uh, let's see what I can do here. Let's see, how do I line these up? I'm going to line these pins here up with what you see there, and I'll see if I can get this to go together right. Let's see, what would be the easiest way? Maybe if I set them both down and then line them up with like this. And I'll just stop the camera because I don't know if I can get anything. Uh, it's about one month later, and I haven't really done much with my TCM. Uh, the Dorman one I have in the car now has been working fine, so I haven't really been too motivated to uh, mess with it. So what I think I might do with this one is just uh, return it for my core charge. Uh, what I'll probably do first is just um, seal it up with some, um, some sealant so it doesn't look like I've messed with it, and then return it. Um, anyways, if you watch, if you're watching this video and watch my part one, um, uh, and have done, made the same attempt I have, uh, let me know how it goes, whether or not, uh, it works or not. Just, uh, I guess, drop a comment with the video and yeah, cause it'd be nice, neat to, it'll be interesting to see if this, if this actually works. Uh, one other thing is, uh, I did see in another video on how you can, uh, like, in part one, I was trying to take the take that one uh, board off and had to pry at it. It wasn't moving. I did see another video where they um, where they uh, squeezed the pins and twisted them to get them to release. And I did comment on that video and ask if it had worked, and apparently it did. So that'd be interesting to see. But anyways, I'm going to get this thing apart and then seal it up and then return it. Okay, here's a close-up of these these pins. 
I guess what you need to do is um, let's see if this works. That's still blurry. But yeah, I guess what you need to do is um, is uh, squeeze these together and twist them. Or, or not squeeze them together, but squeeze the sides of each pin together and twist it, and it, this board should come off. Um, anyways, I'm just going to seal this back up and, uh, and get my core charge for it. And that is about it. And you can sort of see how they're going to open in the middle. See how close I can get. 